Today we finish Shadowheart's companion questline, The Daughter of Darkness. Starting out, we need to find the secret cult of Shah worshippers here in Baldur's Gate. Just to warn you guys, I was not emotionally prepared for what takes place in this episode. It almost brought me to tears. The story just takes such a dark twist. And you're going to see a few different outcomes as well as one of the Probably one of the, no, not the weirdest romping scene in the game. That was last episode, but this one's pretty weird. Leave a like if you enjoy it. Not, not the romping scene, the episode. And we shall begin. So we're starting out right here next to the Rivington fast travel point because Shadowheart told us in her dialogue at camp that her fellow Shah worshippers would apparently be near forward. where the refugees are entering the city. That's where they would probably end up finding her. So from the fast travel point, we're going to head down to what is the refugee camp. If I was a Sharon lookout, this is the sort of place I'd wait around. And then we can just walk straight into the refugee camp over here and don't give a rat's see what we can find. Young lady, Shadowheart, a word if you will. What a sight for sore eyes. I believe there's somewhere you're supposed to be. No? Long overdue, in fact. Do I know you? No, but I know you. I was told to keep watch for you and point you towards home should you ever appear. And lo, you have appeared. You're a Sharan, aren't you? From Shadowheart's Cloister. Your friend is unsubtle, a dangerous trait. Are you <gasps> sure you want him listening in on this? Yes, I trust him. Whatever you have to say, say it. Very well. First, you need to continue onwards into the lower city. Then, seek out a place called the House of Grief. It may not be quite what you expect, but I assure you, it's the right spot. Go there, make yourself known. You will be given the welcome you deserve. Can't you show me yourself? Oh, no. I must remain here. In truth, I'm glad to keep my distance for now. There's been some tension in the ranks. Seems a great deal is riding on the outcome of your mission. Besides, I have business to attend to, wares to sell. Our great endeavor can't run on faith alone. We need funds. Have a look, if you wish. Otherwise, I think we're done. Try not to dawdle too much in the city. Mother's waiting. Ah, so the Mother Superior is there. So here we are in the lower city, and the House of Grief is located on the northwest side of the map, just over here. Greetings. Do you seek help? You are in the right place. Am I? Am I really? Welcome. The House of Grief lies just within. We are here to help. Why do you have this ugly hairstyle? The House of Grief. All right, let's see what's inside, wherever the entrance is. I don't want to talk to Shadowheart before we go too much further as well, see if she says anything. Your fellow Sharans are within it somewhere. What now? I need to reach its very center and confront the Mother Superior. Lady Shah decrees she is no longer fit to lead. Damn. There will be plenty of others there too. If we can get them to see sense, I would rather we spare their lives. I don't want to lead a congregation of corpses like Balthazar and Kethric. That makes sense. Let's give Shadowheart the spear. Let's head on inside then. Has been Who's Miri? Is she going to guide the way? Welcome back. We've been awaiting you, Shadowheart. So, not Shadowheart. the rumors are true then. The Dark Lady has blessed you. Most curious. I need to see the Mother Superior. All in due time. Let us pass. As I said, in due time. First, you submit to the mapping of the heart. Only then can we know what is to be done with you. The mapping of the what? This is the house of grief. We strive to help those whose hearts have grown heavy. Be it with anger, melancholy, Grief or treachery. Submit to the mapping and reveal what lurks in your heart. If you consent, follow me. If you do not, leave. 
Ooh, okay. The house That's of cool. grief welcomes you and stands ready to ease your troubles. Interesting. Another adventure it is. Have a seat. The mapping will begin shortly. Let's take a seat down then. What was that? You seek to be unburdened, yes? The mapping of the heart can reveal the way. Yet, there is another here whose need is great. That voice. Allow me. I think I'm supposed to do this. Go ahead. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> this is episodes about you, Shadowheart. Sorry about that. Do you know why you are here? I have a mission to fulfill. I must... You had a mission, yes. But did you succeed? Or did you stray? Now give me the true answer. What is your purpose in being here? What's going on? Is this part of the mapping? Oglash, <laughs> just like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Let's remain silent, see if Shadowheart just says, I'm here to slay you all. The artifact. I was sent to retrieve it at any cost. And who tasked you with this mission? The Mother Superior of Sha... It's you. Give me the honor of my name in full. I... I can't. My memories... I know what's in that head of yours better than you do, girl. My name. Mother Superior... Iconia Devere. You still have the wits to recognize your betters. Good. Now descend. You have much to answer for. Oh, it was just an illusion. An astral projection. Clever girl. She's not taking any chances. We shouldn't either. Oh, secret passage. Exposed secret stairway. Let's go inside. Char's secret sanctuary in Boulder's Gate. Unburdening. The volume describes the process of unburdening in exact detail. Valuable targets are identified from those who seek out the services of the House of Grief. If they're willing to pay, they proceed to the mapping of the heart, where the Inquirer of Grief will question them while discreetly probing their thoughts for anything that can be of use to the Lady of Loss. Following this, targets are ushered downstairs to stand before the Mirror of Loss, Given the correct prompts by the Inquirer of Grief, the target will surrender memories to the mirror for the benefit of all of Lady Shah's children. In the same stroke, the mirror can remove memories of what they have seen in the cloister, as well as whatever they believe to be the source of their troubles. Then they can be turned loose, blissfully ignorant of the offering they just made. That is insane. I didn't know that's how it worked. Interrogation training rooms there and infiltration rooms here. Before we lockpick this, I kind of want to just go inside and confront the Mother Superior. It's going to be a long way down, though. This is a big temple, and we've just the leveled Mother up. The Mother Superior raised all of this from nothing, in secret. It took years. Soon, it will be mine. And with Lady Shah's blessing, it will become even greater. Let's unlock the infiltration training first. 31. Activities. We were taught that Lady Shah's warriors had to be able to hide in plain sight wherever we went. I think this was my favorite part. Losing myself in here. Being someone else, even just for a while. A detailed report from a Sharan agent, Dark Adept Bilboy Reed, about the activities of Envar Gorash, an arms smuggler. Sharans had designated a person of interest. The report concludes with the lines below. Gorash, whom we believe to be a follower of the tyranny godling Bane, has recently been consorting with the leading adherent of the murder godling Baal, which is Orin. The pair were observed entering the Devil's Fee, where they conferred for over an hour with the establishment's proprietor, the known Dibalist, Helsik. This must be considered significant, as Helsik is reputed to be able to open gate portals to the Hells, if her extravagant fees are met. We should actually keep that in mind. That might be, oh, the journal's actually updated. Can we open them? We need a twin scroll of eye bites for 600 gold. There's also some thieves tools here. All right, now let's go and look at the next room here. 
Oyster of Somber Embrace. The interrogation room training. Let's see if Shadowheart has any memories about this. Critical success. I learned how to inflict pain here for Lady Shaw. I can't remember the faces, but I think I can still hear the screams. It is quiet in place. But you must inflict pain in order to end pain. Lady Shah's embrace can soothe all mortal torments. Oh, nice enough. All right, now we've seen that and seen the dialogue. Let's head on forward. What path lies before me? All right, I've leveled everyone going. up. Now we can continue down to this little midget. See what he wants from us. Keep going. The Mother Superior is expecting you. Okay, but we get some cool dialogue. Open Sasami. Never get bored of how those doors open. There she is. You know, one thing I find really cool about this storyline is so far, Astarian has become the vampire master of Baldur's Gate. He is the ascendant vampire, the most powerful vampire in the lore. Shadowheart could potentially be the ruler of this temple now. I, the Dark Urge, can become the leader of the Bow Temple in Baldur's Gate. Gail just wants a silly crown. I just find that really interesting how our characters can become the most powerful in the city under various gods. I thought you might try to flee rather than face us. Perhaps you are braver than I thought. Or more arrogant than even I can fathom. No matter. You are here now to face the Dark Lady's judgment before a gathering of your peers. Give the artifact, and perhaps we will be merciful. No. I already faced Lady Shah. I passed her trials. I wielded her spear, and now I am her mortal voice. I have been embraced by her in ways you could only dream of. <laughs> Nonsense. Ravings. You've strayed, girl. You've failed Lady Shah's mission and allowed ambition to rot your mind. Tell her. Tell them all. Tell them how the Night Singer has blessed me. Og, og. She slew a helpless prisoner deep in an ancient ruin. Perhaps that warrants Shah's blessing. I don't know. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> I'm so tempted. Why do you want the artifact? I'm genuinely interested. I need to ask this first. I did not consent to questions. But I suppose you have undergone a great deal to reach this place. And anything I tell you cannot compromise me now. For you will either leave on my terms... Or not at all. Whispers reached my ears from all corners. Potential rivals of Lady Shah, all vying for the same prize. A new god, amassing the disaffected, the outcasts. Those who should turn to us. This absolute is but an upstart. Disturbing the natural order and threatening to impede the glorious return of Lady Shah's pure, endless darkness. I had to act. I had to strangle that foul conspiracy while it was still in the cradle. We learned all we could. The artifact was the one thing the absolutists feared. The one thing they desperately wanted to keep out of their enemy's grasp. I had to have it. Just wanted it because it made her powerful. She doesn't actually know what it does then. <laughs> it's kind of a bit nonsensical, really. Shaw bid you to do all of this, did she? Lady Shah's concerns lie elsewhere, with another. But she is a goddess. She can afford to ignore that which does not threaten her. I must keep her faith alive in mortal hearts. I must defend her ways, lead her children, stop all threats. Even if I must go against her wishes, I will prove myself her most loyal servant. You think you know better than the Dark Lady? No wonder she sent me to this place of your poison. Tell them what you witnessed. Tell them how Lady Shah favors me. What's mad to me is that she even admits that even if she goes against Lady Shah's will in front of all her followers, like that is everything she stands for. She admitted that she went against Shah's will. It is true. She survived the gauntlet of Shah. She sacrificed Saloon's own daughter. She is your rightful leader. 
We have advantage. I don't know if we would have... Oh, wait. Why do we have disadvantage? You're an outsider. Ah. So we need to get a 20 on disadvantage. Can I add bonuses? Use guidance. And a scroll of charm. Okay, so now I don't have disadvantage. Interesting. 13, is that enough? Maths, yes, we've done it. Thank God for guidance and a scroll of charm person. I shall stand with Shadowheart. So be it. A traitor's end awaits you all. These are the desperate lives of trapped vermin, nothing more. You are deluded, girl. I'm not here to convince you, mother. You are already disgraced in Lady Shah's eyes. I merely wish to give the others a chance to repent before they are dragged down with you. A coup attempt? Shadowheart will need all the help she can get if she's to win over the remaining diehards from Viconia's ranks. Connects with her mind. Suggest so you talk about the power Shah granted her. I sunk a spear into the heart of the Moon Witch's daughter. Lady Shah rewarded me. She turned the pain that once held me back into the power that now drives me on. And she told me to cleanse her church of those who failed her. The traitor's ranks swell, like a corpse left under the sun. I will take joy in making each and every one of you suffer. Enough talk, girl. The sooner we finish this, the sooner your blood can be sluiced off Lady Shah's sacred grotto. Attack immediately. No, we'll give her a chance to sway more of her followers. I want to watch this mummy fool a long way. Enough speeches. The odds are already in my favor. Do you think the Dark Lady would want you to die for a lost cause? Or show some cunning and live another day? No matter. I built this place from nothing. I can always start anew once you've been dealt with. You were right about one thing. Lady Shah's church does need to be cleansed. By my hand. Oh, this is sick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, it's going to be an epic fight. Astarian wins and gets to go first, though. He has a big shield. Wait, 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 wait. We've convinced everyone to join us. Oh, I, I kind of wanted an epic boss battle, though. Oh, there are some enemies. Like, this lady wasn't here for the speech. And I guess neither would this guy. They, they didn't hear what was going on, so they're still enemies. <laughs> I'm going to do the most damage to us, I guess. And I'm just going to stand behind the maid so she can't move. End our turn. I am Lady Shah in... <laughs> you cannot find me. There when it was born. The wolves that hunt you. She's going straight for Shadowheart and she's turned into her very nightmare. That is insane. We try and transform her into a harmless sheep. I mean, a 16% chance. It's almost impossible. And then let's go ahead and bless our party. And then we'll just stand here. See what this lady does. She has a sick looking mask. Tea. Where is he going? Can we use Blight on the wolf? How much damage do you do? Wow, 60 damage. That's insane. Going to use a Divine Smite level 3. We had a 55% chance of hit. I like those rolls. <laughs> she is... Ooh, Blessing of Darkness. Don't worry, Shadowheart likes darkness. Don't worry, we've got backup arriving. Where is he going? Dude. Finally, someone's attacked the Mother Superior. Didn't do anything, but still. All right, let's see what our allies do. They're going to go take out that pesky mage. What is this mage doing? Seems to be confused. It's extremely confused. <laughs> he didn't do anything. Her foes perish. Yes. Use the blinding shot on this mage. Surrounding her. Fighting is futile. Oh my god, I crit the darkness her. Awaits you. We'll see about the darkness awaits you. Oh, you. Wait, how did I die? In one hit, I died. 
I just literally capped myself. Let's use Cure Wounds Take on Ugla. And we'll just run over here. End our turn. See what these enemies do. Oh my god. The mage is trying to run away. She just got dead. Oh. Okay, she's very confused. Oh my god. Critical. Wow. She used poison spray on this guy. Die. He saved the poison, annoyingly. Let's use a potion of superior healing. Astarian doesn't get an opportunity attack. Okay, interesting. Shoot it. Oh, there we go. Ah, okay. Another critical hit. Oh, she's here. Okay, right. Get wrecked. Kill her. You shall never see sunlight again. That was a hell of a lot of damage there. Let's use our flame pillar ability on both of these guys. Big damage. We've actually finished her off with that as well. What does she have on? And Maiden's Mace. 6 to 21 damage. Not as good as the legendary Sharon Spear for the true worshippers of Shah though. Her priestess roads have Shah Umbrance. She has a legendary shield called Vakonica's Walking Fortress. Plus free armor. So if someone hits you with a melee attack, you can react to knock them prone and do force damage. It also has reflective shell. But it reflects any projectiles aimed at you. That's why Uglash died instantly. And we've got her personal chest key. So we'll take all of this. Now we've got to kill the remaining traitors. Come on, why is she on one health? Uglash is going to jump up there and smash. Uglash, smash. Thank you. My final task lies ahead. In the chamber of loss. Wait, apparently we can speak to Veronica. She's not actually dead yet. So you think you have won? Time will tell. Far easier to claim something than hold on to it. They will turn on you in time. When you hear the whispers and see the blades drawn. Remember my face. I won't remember you at all. Nobody will. Kill her or turn her loose. It doesn't matter. She's finished either way. Oh, wait, do I get to decide? Kill her. <laughs> I've got a nice little dagger. Nice little oath. I draw near, my lady. <sighs> Don't even let her finish the sentence. Take her down. Perhaps I followed her too blindly. If Lady Shah abandoned her. Now let's take the loot. Look at all these toasty bodies. It seems Viconia sought a greater purpose than Lady Shah had decided for her. The mission she sent me on was a lie. Same as everything else she ever told me. She sowed her own downfall in trying to take the prison for herself. Had she never sent me, I'd still bow to Shah. None the wiser. You thought you were doing the right thing. What comes now? The Chamber of Loss beckons. Lady Shah has one final task for me. Then all of this will be mine. The Chamber of Loss. Okay. So we've got one final task. A quick check on the map shows us that the Daughter of Darkness quest continues. We must enter I the Chamber of Loss. Blindly, if Lady Shah abandoned her. I think we should probably short rest first though, so we're all a bit more healthy. Before we go on, I think I want to explore the dormitory. Who is Shadowheart? I wasn't sure if I'd ever lay eyes on you again. It's me, Nocturne. Do you remember? Remind me. We we trained together. We used to be close. Oh, Shadowheart. I'm glad to see you're all right. I don't remember you. Oh. A pity. Perhaps we can talk some more later? If you wish. They said the hunt for the artifact was a suicide mission. I feared I wouldn't see you again. Some even thought it was the Mother Superior's plan alone, and not what Lady Shah wanted. They were right. Some even thought it was the Mother Superior's plan alone, and not Lady Shah's intent. Different dialogue line. It seems the Whispers were right on that last part. At some point, she confused her ambitions for the Night Singer's will. But no matter. You rule us now. What comes next? I didn't see her amongst your supporters fighting Laconia. You shouldn't trust her. Perhaps you're right. But I trusted her once. That has to count for something. Hmm. 
He there says. There must be all sorts you can tell me. Things I can't even remember. If you wish it of me, of course, my lady. I work as the quartermaster. Come see me whenever you wish. Okay. If we get Shadowheart's backstory from her, that would be very interesting. Services of the night. Okay, this is relevant to Shadowheart. It has been years since Waterdeep, since Olden SLR. At last, the trail has gone cold, enough so that I may recompense Lady Shah's holy work. It is true that secrecy is the greatest shield of all, yet the sacrifice needed for this new beginning have been steep. It had better prove worth it. Oldest Gate, it feels strange to be back in a place. So familiar, yet I cannot engage with it. I am like a living ghost, hidden and watching. Time has rushed by like an autumn storm. Lady Shah's church in Boulder's Gate has grown steadily and in secret under my command. I have named it the Cloister of Somber Embrace, for the Night Singer's Embrace is the final goal that we all crave. One day, this place could even surpass what I created in Waterdeep. Yet by then, it may not be mine to command. Lady Shah tells me that there is another. One I must pry from a foul Salunite heritage and reshape to become the Darkness Champion. That Shadowheart, a Salunite heritage. An audacious plan, but one that could cost me everything. I must stay resolute. I must find this child for Lady Shah. My spies have reported to me the child has been found. A girl with the sheerest black hair. She will soon come of age and be lost to the moon bitch forever. But our plan is in motion. Under a cloak of darkness, the girl will soon be ours. Talking about Shadow Heart. Why do I remember these of all things? A gift from Soldanesala, Mother Superior said. Curious. I could never quite tell if she was proud of them or not. There's two rings and a counting house vault 8 key. I guess this is like... These are all about me 40 years of my life documented like i was some sort of specimen years have passed and still she refuses to be easily molded into what lady shah wishes her to be she questions my teachings hesitates when she should be pitiless and longs to venture the world like some guileless animal often her behavior makes a mockery of the name she has adopted shadow heart that lady shah believes that she will one day become the perfect embodiment of her will make my gorge rise have i not proven myself worthy did i not sacrifice everything in order to please the night singer i had built something great in her honor in Waterdeep. all gone now those who have followed me have been embraced and i am left with honing a child for the moon witcher's followers in lady shah's right hand i will not give up i will remake her or break her the Night Singers shall know who is their most loyal servant, one way or another. So it is her entire history. Interrogation log on a Githyanki slate. Talking about the relic Githyanki. that- Githyanki. Part of the Sharan's preparations to seize the astral prism, no doubt. Yes, that is literally what it said. Nocturne's journal. Ooh, this might talk about Shadowheart then. The earlier entries in this journal have been erased or heavily eradicated before settling into a normal rhythm. I am Nocturne. I think as her, I see her when I look in the mirror. I can't remember the last time someone called me by the wrong name. Shadowheart has been swift to gently correct slips of the tongue and even swifter to challenge those who use my forsworn name in malice. I'm lucky to have her as a friend. They took Shadowheart's memories again, more than they took before, but I know what to do now. I know she'll be frightened and that she won't remember much, not even me. I can take her to our hideaway and remind her of herself. I'm getting better at it each time. I love seeing that look in her eyes when she finally remembers me. Why must the Mother Superior do this to her? Why must she grind her under her heel like she does no other? They're grooming her for a mission, and they will soon take away her memories again. I need to see her again while she still remembers me. I need to tell her to stay safe and that I'll see her again. It's been two days and no word. Shadowheart and the others could be alive or dead. Even the Mother Superior does not seem to know. I'm sick with worry. I can't bear to write any more. Let's get Shadowheart to speak to her. I can still scarcely believe it. You've returned and the Mother Superior is gone. So much can change so quickly. Indeed. As much as I still can't remember, share anything with me from when we were young. Well, you had a pet mouse for a while. It was against the rules, of course. You used to hide him under your robes and feed him from your rations. Did he have a name? <laughs> Nibbles. 
I suggested Bree, but you were having none of it. She caught you with him. Forced you to get rid of him in front of everyone. To make an example. You always loved animals. But you never let yourself get too close after that. I'm sorry. Not the sort of thing you want to hear, I'm sure. I don't suppose there are any pleasant memories you can share. Well... You know that little scar on your elbow? You know about that? It's barely the size of a pea. I was there when you picked that up. It was years ago when we were initiates. Some of the others were intent on tormenting us until you showed them the error of their ways. I think it was six against two? And most of them were bigger than us to boot, but you saw them off, all of them. There were some bruised lips and black eyes in the mess hall that night. And from then on, they left us alone. Or at least, they bothered us less. What about the scar? A collision between your elbow and the teeth of a girl called Buddock. She came away from it worse than you. <laughs> she was on the same mission as you. I suppose she won't be coming back. In any case, the Mother Superior soon broke up the fighting, though she didn't punish us. In fact, I saw her smiling. I think she was proud of you. That is really interesting, though, to hear a bit about Shadowheart's past. Now, before we enter this temple, I want to go up and explore the other side of the building. Habits of Betrayers. A self-help book warning against the dangers of self-pleasure. I always believe Crimes she's of the Moon Maiden. She can make you think your husband is a werewolf when he's only forgotten to shave. She's always changing, making it difficult for slow painters to capture her likeness. What's That's... over here? This is the armor in here. Map of Faerun. It's a plus one shield and a few plus one armor pieces. Behind those crates, it looks like there's no. It does indeed. Let's smash it down. It's a bit long with the star to break things. Okay, so this climbs up over here. A little hideaway. Why does this place seem so familiar? This was the hideaway that um, she mentioned in her journal. Stained book. They heap precious pelf upon the altar as if it were nothing. The door wants gold, trinkets, baubles of mammoth. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a hastily written note here as well. She's going to make me look in the mirror again. She's going to take she's going to take my memories. I do not want to forget who I am. I like flowers, I like animals. My name is. The writing breaks off with a jagged scroll as if interrupted. I, think I wrote this. It speaks of a mirror that steals memories. Is that how they did this to me? Yes. That much is obvious. Shadowheart. I mean, my lady. I'm sorry, that takes some getting used to. No need for such formality. We're friends. Please, don't call me friend. You know what it's like here, backstabbing, vying for favor. It could be dangerous for me if others think I'm your favorite. Anything else? Just small things. You had a little hiding place that you went to when you needed to get away. You brought me there sometimes. We'd talk. Play, read, do each other's hair. I think I found my place. You mean behind the storage area? As quartermaster, I was able to keep it hidden back there, exactly as you left it. From what you said before, you're the one responsible for my hair? The plat and fringe? Yes, on your instructions, of course. You were very intent on a bold look, I think you said. My hands were cramped by the time I finished, but you were very pleased. <laughs> It looks terrible. Her original hairstyle. An absolute travesty, really. All right, let's go back into the main room then. And we can go through this door for the threshold of loss. So it just opened for us. There's a stone inscription that says, treasured in light, lost in dark. Let's proceed inwards and see what we discover. Prisoners. Is this my final task for Lady Shah? I think so. Captors of Shah allege you're bearing the names of those carcinated in the Chamber of Loss. Some are noted to have died. Rask Lear, Githyanki, double guard at all times, deceased. Arnell Hallowleaf. Oh look, Emuline Hallowleaf and Arnell Hallowleaf. So they're still alive there. What else is here? Oh, this is the Mirror of Loss. We can also climb up the side here and there is a skeleton and nothing. a iron door at the top. 
inside here. Oh, this was the Gith Yankee. They told you the information. Half buried in the rubbish. Made sure the corpse couldn't help anyone else. There's a note here, Gith Yankee number seven. So this was, they were torturing her to find the location of the artifact. All right, I guess we've got to go over to this mirror of Lost now. Look how beautiful this cave is. Better take a look. A huge polished disc looms before you. A mirror. One that was used to wrest your memories from you. Dark Justica and religion offer a prayer to the mirror. And we have advantage because we are a Shah follower. And we also use guidance as well. We don't want to fail this. 18 plus... Oh, do we... No, guidance, thank God. So we do pass. You feel a presence, dark and ancient. It approves of your fealty. First time I've seen Shadowheart smile. Gaze into the mirror, intent on offering it one of your memories. As her chosen, you have already made the ultimate offering. Now all you need to do is claim a reward. Where once the mirror showed nothing, there is now something. Memories, experiences, skills, your own. Surrendered once and now offered back to you to choose from. Still the fortitude that lies in a heart denied a thousand times, oof. The superior shook her head. You were not yet ready, but you would persist. You would try harder. One day you would become a dark justicia. The memory fades away, yet you feel its influence linger in your body. The dark mirror seems to turn dormant, its hunger sated. Intriguing. All right, let's go over here and speak to you. Emuline Hollowleaf. It can't be. Another vile trick. Don't listen to me. I did that. How? It's the curse we have on us. Detach these people. My gift to you. Power is not created. It merely changes from one form to another. Their pain becomes your might. Their suffering furthers your glory. I don't understand. Who are these people? Arnel Hallowleaf and his wife, Emily, once. They were among the most fanatical of my sister, Saluna's followers. But for years they have been here, resisting my embrace. Just as I wished them to, their wrong-headed resolve allowed me to shape you. But I need not tell you. I can show you. It is time to remember. Time to remember. Everything. You find yourself thrust into Shadowheart's mind, but it's different than before. There's more, more than you or she can comprehend. A flood of restored memories, finished thoughts, revealed secrets. Oh my god, it's young Shadowheart. A <laughs> wolf. That's why she was so afraid of them. trying to save her. Is that her dad? Are those her parents? You... what the hell 
else was that? Your memories, they're restored. Yes. I, I remember it all. I remember them. My parents. What have you done to them? We, child, we did this to them together. My power and your will. Jennifer? Jen? Is that you? Why you look so tall? It's not her, Em. It's just another trick. Another way to hurt us. It's me. I'm Jennifer. Jennifer is no more. She never left those dark woods. It was Shadowheart who emerged. This woman gave birth to you. But I made you. I am your mother. Oh my god, this is so dark. What the hell? So Shadowheart's real name is Jennifer? And those are her parents? Remain silent. Are you doing this? She didn't need to know. Like, what the heck? Dude, this is crazy. This is beyond evil. A sacrifice is not a sacrifice if it has no meaning. This is the final step. Snuff out the last embers of your old life so that you can finally be who you were meant to be. Kill them. For me. Then I will take the memories away from you again. Loss will heal you. And you will be my right hand at last. What the hell? <laughs> what? You're a monster, not a goddess. No, she can't do this. Kill them, Shadowheart. They'll be forgotten again soon enough. Oh, she's really looking for, to me for guidance. And I'm evil. And she should claim this power. At this point, she's gone so far. But like this, I, di I didn't think anything worse could happen. But oh my god, this is actually horrendous. I'm going to save the game and pick both options. I really want to see both outcomes. I'm going to tell her to kill them. We'll see what she says. Maybe Shadowheart's like, I'm going to do this anyway. I am neither. I am nothing. I am the empty room. The dream is sleep. The shadows shadow. There was no pain before my sister set the sun aflame. Now you exist to suffer. Until you find your way back to my embrace. Do you remember your training, child? I know you do. All the times you stood in this room. Wondering why this pair seemed so familiar. All the times you honed your skills on them, they remember everything. The pain, the pleading, their torturer wearing their daughter's face. End their nightmare. Give them peace. So a torturer came in to, to torture Shadowheart's parents disguised as Shadowheart. Dude, I, it keeps getting darker. Don't do it. Do whatever you feel is right, Shadowheart. Look at her. She's like a scared little girl. Oh my god. Do what you think is right. Do what's right. I think I lost sight of that some time ago. Better to just serve blindly. Whatever happens, we love you all the same. We never stopped. Thank you, Moon Maiden. You let me see my Jennifer, my baby girl, one last time. Don't call me that. My name is Shadowheart. You are just lost, Jennifer. Saluna will show you the way home in time. Oh my god. My name is Shadowheart! It 
it is done. And done well. They are with me now, in my endless dark. And from them, you can draw endless power. I still remember. No longer. Forget. Forget and rise. It's done. This place is mine now. Shah's forces are mine when I need them, and her power... It's right at my fingertips. I can't believe it. Holy crap, that was... That, like, almost brought me to tears. That is so... Jesus Christ, what did we just watch? Those two corpses. You know who they are? Sacrifices. My final test, whoever they are. A rather meager offering to the Dark Lady. But it's not my place to question her. It's time we left. We're not finished with the Absolute just yet. Only now, Shah's forces are mine to command when the battle comes. Doesn't even know. Oh my god, those two rings we picked up earlier were her parents' rings. Because they were married, they don't have the rings on their bodies. Nice. The final sacrifice has been made. I am Lady Shah's right hand now. It has all been worth it. Every step, every trial, every drop of blood. She keeps telling herself that, but when it came down to what she had to do, she didn't even know what was right anymore. What have we done to you, Shadowheart? This is terrible. No regrets about killing Vaconia? None. She sealed her own fate. True. I was merely Lady Shah's instrument in delivering the final blow. Still, I learned much from the late Mother Superior. It was the least I could do to make that final blow a swift one. What about Nocta? Can you be her leader and her friend? Of course. What's the point in having power if you cannot wield it every now and again to help your friends? Nocturne has endured much in this place and remained loyal to me. Once I have settled into my role, I shall see that whatever place she desires in Lady Shah's service is hers. What does this mean for us, the bond we share? That... That was always a fragile, elusive thing. Ever since I slew Nightsong, mm. I didn't want to surrender it then. Perhaps now, as first among Lady Shah's children, I can give myself leave to do as I like. But all that must wait for now. The Night Singer's Church cannot thrive if the Absolute isn't stopped. When the time comes for the final battle, Lady Shah's faithful will be ready. Until then, we should continue to do what we must. Jesus. That little hideaway that we found in the cloister, it almost felt like I'd found a piece of my childhood. Childhood I don't truly remember. But remember it or not, I felt right at home there. Surrounded by books and night orchids. Yeah, she said she liked flowers. Do you want to go and spend some more time there? Hm. Don't tempt me. Might find it hard to leave. Well, can you imagine what it would have been like growing up in that place? Endless training, no privacy, facing scorn wherever I looked. I can very easily imagine I needed somewhere to escape to, if I was to survive. Nocturne and I must have come here a lot. We probably had plenty we wanted to hide from. Mm. Anyway, I think that little hideaway helped shape who I am, as much as any sermon or training did. Funny the things that influence you. Remember when you told me about night orchards being your favorite flowers? Rings a bell? Why? Just so happens I have one right here. Oh, hells. You didn't pick that by hand, did you? They're deadly poisonous. <laughs> Joking. No. They're safe. And beautiful. Thank you. Jesus Christ. I 
don't have anything to give you in return, I'm afraid. I'm sure you'll come up with something, in time. We'll see. Give me a while to put my imagination to work. So your memories have been restored then? Those that are worth remembering, yes. Lady Shah is ever wise. She knows what I do and do not have to know in order to be her most loyal, most effective servant. My training knowledge, my experiences, my will and faith. Everything I need to be leader of the cloister. Anything that's missing, well, I can't miss what I can't remember. I have all I need. Char is manipulating you still. Keeping you loyal by making you forget. What about us? Do you still remember all we've been through? Of course. From the first time I laid eyes on you right until now. That's all safe. I wouldn't surrender even a moment of it. Oh, that's cute. Your parents? Dead. I'm glad for you. Not as much as I am. My whole life has been leading up to this. At last, I've become who I've always meant to be. She has no idea. May I have a kiss? Just the one. Oh, she just killed her parents and so we're like, hey, let's... <laughs> oh, God. That was weird. Let's kiss on there over their bodies. Yep, that's great. Wow. I just quickly, I'm going to reload and see what happens if we tell Shadowheart not to kill her parents. I want to see if there's any kind of redemption arc at this point in the game because it just seems so barbaric. Then we'll reload with the penultimate evil ending. End their nightmare. Give them peace. Don't do it. I have to do it. My whole life has been leading to this. Oh my God. We can persuade her not to do it. They're your parents. They'll forgive you. Your whole life has been a lie. You don't have to do this. It's not worth it. Shah will turn on you in time. Same as she did for Konea. Persuade. 25. Shadowheart can use guidance on me. <laughs> Here we go. Critical success. Do your duty. This one final trial. Then you will be home. No! You've already brought me to what I need. My family. My real family. Don't anger her, Jen. Just get out. Save yourself. I am saving myself. I'm leaving this place. And I'm taking my parents with me. So much was done to mold you. And still you turn your back on me. For two strangers that you share blood with. Go there. Leave. The dark will still be waiting. But keep some memories as a parting gift. You learned so much. Applying your skills to these two. Now you can remember it all. Whenever you look upon their faces. Oh, damn. I I did that. How did I do that to them? So many times. You've showed great promise. But no more. When the darkness finally comes for you again, it will not be my welcoming embrace. It will be a hungry more than nothing. Farewell. I... I hurt you both. So much. Gods forgive me. There is nothing to forgive. You did what was necessary. To survive. And you came back to us. What more could a mother want? Wow. Balloon's blessing. Actually save them? Oh. Whew. 
<laughs> Look how happy our clutch. Are you alright? I will be. Once we get clear of this place. Do what you need to, Jen. We can follow your trail. <laughs> Once we've rested a little. The Moon Maiden still guides us. And talk to Shadowheart at camp. Most are lost forever. Some may creep back into my mind if I encounter anything that helps clear the fog. Then there's what Shah did restore to me. Memories of pain, suffering, both my own and what I inflicted. It's overwhelming. Like a lifetime's worth of nightmares unleashed all at once upon waking, I can barely untangle one moment from another, not that I even want to. Jesus. I just know that my heart sinks if I let my thoughts wander to them. Shah did that for no other purpose but sheer spite. Shah seeks to break people, to fill their lives with despair so that they will turn to her for relief. Perhaps she thought this would lead me back to her in time. But it won't. I fought too hard to win my freedom. I will not give it up again, no matter how much it hurts. Perhaps your parents will help you get over these memories. Yes. But it's not an easy subject to broach. Those bad memories, they're filled with my parents' faces there. Cries of pain. But perhaps it will help. If I can clear the air. I want to end things between us. <laughs> Dude, that would be savage. <laughs> How are you? Better now, I think. Now that I know the truth. Now that I have my family. And you. It's amazing that you can turn Shadowheart to the path of light after all of that. All right, let's take a nothing. long rest and see if Shadowheart's parents show up at camp or if Selene killed them or something. Doesn't look like anyone's been here in a while. Perhaps people lost faith or forgot about it. I wanted to come here to see if I felt anything that I hadn't done before. Now that I know what I know. Now that I know who I am. And do you feel anything? Shame. More than I ever knew it was possible to feel. Shah left me with all the memories I need to punish myself. I have my family back. And now I can't even look them in the eye. I don't deserve to be anyone's daughter. That's not true. Not even close. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to see me like this. Alive. Free. Feeling. I've dreamt for years of seeing you like this. Seeing you as yourself again, Jen, it kept us going all this time. I can't be you, Jennifer. Not as you remember her. Of course you can. No. I'd be turning my back on too much. Shadowheart is as much part of who I am as Jennifer. I can't just forget her. That's not what I do anymore. Besides, Shadowheart still suits me. Even better than before, perhaps. You can't cast a shadow without some light. Don't worry. Oh. I'm still your daughter. If you want me to be. I'll call you whatever you like. So long as you're happy. Arnel? The Moon Maiden guides and helps us find our true selves. Shadowheart. Daughter. Oh, man. Oh. 
That is lovely. Shadowheart's just here now. Hello. We can get Shadowheart to come and talk to her parents. Shadowheart. May Saluna guide you as always, my daughter. Aww. How do you feel? Better, in a sense. But you may need to prepare yourself, daughter. Shard took a great deal from me, and time will eventually take the rest. Sooner than you or your father would like, perhaps. I... I knew this, even when I first fell for your father. He is destined to outlive me, as are you. Oh. Shed no tears. We've been blessed with a second chance, and who is to say how long we'll have? More than I ever hoped for, certainly. We must not live in fear of loss. That is not truly living. Is there anything I can do for you? Just one. Take care of yourself. I know you have more struggles yet to come out there. But I do not want to lose my daughter so soon after I found her again. What comes now? Only you can say. It seems your father and I have returned to a world in turmoil. And I sense you have a part to play in writing things. We shall remain here at camp and continue to recover what strength we can. Then, perhaps, when all is said and done, we can be a family again. Jen, father. I mean, Shadowheart. Pardon. It warms my heart to see you. I had promised you we would catch up once I'd rested. Perhaps there's something you wish to ask about? What really happened that night in the woods when I was abducted? You were to come of age that night, left alone in the woods and using only Saluna's guidance to find your way back to us. That didn't go to plan. But you were not alone in the woods. We caught a Shah and spy near our village and learned that his accomplices sought to abduct you. I had to find you, to bring you home, and I had to do it quickly. In my haste, I made a terrible mistake. I took on my wolf form to cover the ground more quickly, and it worked. I followed your scent and reached you before the Sharans could. But when I found you, you did not see your father rushing to save you. You only saw a wolf hunting you in the darkness. I should have down. told you of my curse before that night. Then everything would have been different. You panicked, and before I could explain, the Sharans found us. Father and daughter, wolf and prey. They took us both. When I awakened, you were gone, but your mother was with me. They were spiriting us away to the city, hidden and bound. That should have been the day you came of age and into the Moon Maiden's teachings. Instead, the Sharans used us to teach you different lessons. Painful lessons. How is it that you can transform into a wolf at will? She's not quite a werewolf. The Moon Maiden's blessings are many. She taught me to control the curse. Ah. But she could not teach me to control my paternal instincts. The failing was mine. All these years you were so close by and I did nothing. You could have done nothing back then. Not without putting yourself in danger. The Moon Maiden guided you in her own time. You're not upset, are you, about my name? A name is nothing. Your <laughs> happiness is what matters. Just forgive your father the occasional slip of the tongue. I will adapt, given time. If you're a lycanthorpe, doesn't that mean I am also? Well, it depends. Uh, do you find yourself more hirsute at certain times? Uh, craving warm flesh? Uh, actually, no. Spare your father the answer to that. I am a lycanthrope, but your mother is not. It was a toss of the coin to determine if you inherited that side of me. If you have not changed after all this time, I believe you're safe. It made me do things to both of you all those years. Please, I need to know. Are you sure, Shadowheart? Picking at old wounds may not serve any purpose. The wise man. I need to understand if I'm to move on. Very well. But I shall not wallow in ugly details. That is what they would have wanted. 
to have let their physical torments live on in our spirits. I will not allow that. They had you use us for practice. All the techniques that the Sharans held pride in. Trickery, interrogation, torture. They even had you, our own daughter, try to convert us. The worst part was not anything you did to us, it is what they had done to you. You didn't recognize us. Those eyes I'd wiped tears from now looked at me like a stranger. I... I feared I would give in then. But your mother's strength bolstered me. She never gave up calling you daughter, no matter what you said or did. We were still a family in that room, suffering, enduring, but we did not give up. Your mother and I swore we would see the look of recognition in your eyes once again. And we did. I'm feeling things about this game that I've never felt about. Pretty much any other video game I've played. It just comes across as like very real stories. How did you both go on like that? I could never have the strength. Knowing you were out there still was enough to sustain us. And you are stronger than us both, daughter. We merely had to endure. You had to choose your path. One that brought you back to us at last. What about the wound on my hand? Was that to hurt me or you? Both. They marked you before our eyes. They said it would discipline you for straying while extending our torment also. Not just with the pain, but with the knowledge that every time we felt it, your true self was being punished for trying to break through their indoctrination. I'm sorry. Don't be. Knowing you were out there gave us the strength to hold on. And you returned to us, just like you were supposed to all that time ago. Heard enough. Yes. Now you know all that is worth knowing. Let us put this behind us for good. What comes next for us? I've heard enough about this absolute threat to understand it cannot be ignored. Your mother and I can wait until you prevail. And I know you will. Beyond that, your mother will need my care. And yours, too, if you wish to join us. Somewhere quiet, close to nature, where the sun can warm us. And the moon can watch over us as we sleep. I came here to save them. And you murdered them. Whoops. I may not have known them like a daughter should, but I'll still avenge them. <laughs> oh no. Anyway. Wow, okay, so now we're going to reload uh, the other save where we didn't save Shadowheart's parents. Even at the last moment and the last challenge, you can still turn around and refuse a god. Shah's forces are mine when I need them, and her power, it's right at my fingertips. I can't believe it. I can. You killed your parents for this. Don't be ridiculous. I never knew my parents. Whoever these poor wretches were, they're strangers to me. It's time we left. We're not finished with the Absolute just yet. Only now, Shah's forces are mine to command when the battle comes. All right, let's go back to camp and end the day. A beautiful night. Not even a hint of moon to sully Lady Shah's dark sky. Allow me to be frank. We can't presume we'll get to share another night like this. There's a battle coming. Not everyone is going to make it. Oh, okay. We've made it this far. Have a little faith. Faith is one thing I have in plentiful supply. In fact, it's what I wanted to talk to you about. We should make an offering to Lady Shah to seek her blessing and protection against what lies ahead. A nightfall ritual. I don't have much time left. I'd rather spend it enjoying myself than praying. We can leave the kneeling and praying to the rest. The Night Singer prefers a more active form of devotion. An act of wickedness carried out in her name, followed by a feast. Help me do this. You will not regret it. 
As you wish. Wait until the others are asleep, then come with me. It might just save your life. What's that supposed to mean? Going straight to bed, boys. Oh, it's the Temple of Saluna again. This is again. the spot. Looks like someone's left poor Saluna untended. What's that? More wine? So what should we be doing? Theft? Arson? Murder? Foul language? Hmm. Fine suggestions all. Perhaps another time. After I offered up the night song to Lady Shah, her blood was on the spear, on my hands, on my clothing. I wrung out every drop I could. Saved it for a special occasion. Let's see what comfort we can offer a grieving mother. Oh my god. I'm drawing like a little face on her. Nice. You did well. I hope you're not trying to surpass me in Lady Shah's graces. Of course, I'm clearly better at wickedness than you are. Oh, yes. Show me. Stop being so gentle. Damn. Oh, Shadow Heart. Don't care. Licking <laughs> the blood. That must be the alternative romance scene. If we don't save her parents, <gasps> embrace the darkness. I don't know, so they made that at the ready. And on that bombshell, I think we will end today's episode here. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the alternative parts there. I just personally had to experience that. Next episode, I think I plan to get Gortash's Netherstone. Now my companions are fully empowered. It should be a trivial task for us to perform. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in that next episode. Goodbye.